Dr. Sandifer, you, uh, you gave our convocation speech, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, really uh, summed up uh, the answer to my next question, which is what message would you have for, I mean, with the vast experience you've had in our education and all the success you've had, what advice do you have to, to the students and especially the new students? Well, I think I'd start out with the way I ended at convocation, which is that students should try to finish in four, but have fun and have fun while they're doing it, because I think those, those two things are really possible. And I think to finish in four, you really have to be cognizant of what you hope to accomplish. You don't have to know exactly what you want to do when you start. In fact, many people, including me, had no idea what I wanted to do when I first started. Um, but you have to be cognizant of what you need to do in order to finish. Uh, I think it's so you need a plan. You need a plan, and you'll probably change that plan. But it's always best to have a plan. Uh, then you need to talk with your faculty and and teaching assistants and get to know them, and uh, make sure that you ask questions if there are things you don't understand. Get their advice. Um, you need to ask for help uh, when you need it. I think one of the problems. Um, I certainly know that I had that as a first generation college student. Is I didn't know how or I was embarrassed to ask for help. But there are all these people here who want to help you. And you know, if you have a question or you have something you don't understand, then it's important to seek them out and, and get their uh, help with what you're trying to do. Um, I think you know, it's important to study hard, to not get behind. Um, but that's a, a matter of just managing your time. I think you need to set goals for yourself, you know, not a lot of goals, but just a few goals so that you know if you're making progress uh, toward them. And then I think it's also important to have fun while you're doing this. Uh, there are aspects of the social life of the university that uh, you can take advantage of, whether it's football games or fr fraternities or sororities or the chess club or whatever your interest is um, because you only get to go to college once or most people do some of us are fortunate to spend <laughs> our entire lives in college and I I feel fortunate but most people only get to go once so you want to take advantage of the full college experience but you can do that and finish in in four as long as uh, as I recall you said don't think this is a resort yes it's important that <laughs> especially for freshmen they get here and it's so exciting and there's the first football games of the season and the fraternity and sorority things and the other social things that are going on and then suddenly four weeks into the semester you realize you're really far behind and, and uh, you haven't really done the things you do, need to do to get ready for your first tests and first assignments. So you have to remember that this is not a resort <laughs> even though it may feel that way sometimes.